Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just a little under three months away from its official release by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio, as well as creator George Lucas. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film, at the end of the day, is going to be a revelation film, answering many of the burning questions from, of course, The Force Awakens that will now be answered in Episode 9 by J.J. And by far, I believe it's pretty safe to say that the big driving force of the hype of this movie has got to be Palpatine's return and how he's being portrayed by Ian McDermott once more on the big screen in order to return as Darth Sidious himself as Emperor Palpatine as well. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting for Episode 9. Now, specifically, what's really intriguing about all of this is that shot descriptions consisting of a sequence where it's explained that Rey and Kylo Ren are said to be standing in front of Darth's Sidious inside of his throne room where it's explained that Rey and Kylo Ren are being given a lecture about the new Sith Empire by Palpatine and that Palpatine unveils new secrets about his plans for the galaxy. It's described that Palpatine reveals to Rey and Kylo Ren that he has been working on a new clone army that are to be specifically programmed to scatter across the unknown regions and that the entire galaxy to wipe out any force sensitives in their path in order to make sure that the potential rise of the Jedi would be non-existent. Also, it's explained that Palpatine reveals to Rey and Kylo Ren that the new Sith Empire has a plan in place to wipe out an entire star system in the unknown regions that holds an entire population of force sensitives sensitives that could become a new generation of Jedi that many have been searching for over the years. It's explained that Palpatine reveals that these are his first plans to rule the galaxy indefinitely and that this new clone army of his is described to surpass what was done decades ago during the prequel trilogy era and the Clone Wars. It's said that Palpatine also plans to develop outposts of his new empire on nearly every planet in the galaxy to maintain his order of the galaxy. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, the thing about the new Sith Empire that I believe is going to be very interesting in Episode 9 is the fact that we are going to have a main space battle in the third act of this film, in case you guys are currently unaware. There is, of course, going to be a main space battle between the First Order, the Resistance, and, of course, the new Sith Empire, even moments of which where Palpatine is going up against the new, of course, or should I say the First Order, is going up against the new Sith Empire. So, with that being said, the one thing that I think really interests me the most out of all of this is, of course, how Palpatine has a new clone army in place that's planned in order to take over and colonize the unknown regions and the entire galaxy itself. Now, that to me speaks volumes. It tells me that J.J. Abrams is trying to show us exactly how Palpatine plans to rule the entire galaxy from, of course, you know, this point in time in the Rise of Skywalker moving on forward into the future. So this is all said to be pretty much revealed by Palpatine while he's actually in his side of his throne room talking to both Rey and Kylo Ren in the middle of their lightsaber battle between the three characters. And what I find to be so very intri intriguing about this is the fact that they are trying to go back to clones. You know, it kind of brings us back to The Force Awakens where Hux was talking about the possibility of creating a clone army. You know, how maybe Snoke should consider doing that. It's a very interesting piece of dialogue by Hux. And now that I think of it, it pretty much was used as a form of foreshadowing by J.J. Abrams of what Palpatine plans to do now in, of course, The Rise of Skywalker. Now, the biggest question of all is, of course, do these these clones already exist. Though Palpatine plans to create a clone army, are they already standing by? That's the biggest question open on the table, right? Or are they in the middle of being created as we speak? So, we do know that the new Sith Empire also has a total of 500 plus new Star Destroyers that are indeed equipped with these new super weapons called the Annihilators that hold Death Star technology that are going to wipe out every single planet inside of, of course, you know, the Unknown Regions or the Mid Rim, the Outer Rim, you name it, except keeping the planets intact. So the fact that they use Death Star 3 technology, by the way, it really is a big deal because we do know that a couple of weeks ago we learned that Death Star 3 technology was used as a failsafe by Palpatine before his death. And that that actual weapon was never really created, but parts of the weapon were and scattered across the galaxy that the First Order eventually picked up to use for Starkiller Base that Palpatine is now using for his new army. 
So, like I say, the new Sith Empire, I think it's going to be, by far, one of the more interesting parts about Episode 9's space battles and basically, you know, the regular war that's going around between the Resistance, the First Order, and, of course, you know, the new Sith Empire. I cannot wait to see exactly, you know, what Palpatine has in store for, of course, the Resistance and the Empire and everything else in between. So, with that being said, I will say that, you know, Ian McDermott back as Palpatine, it makes a lot of sense as to why they would want to do such a thing, as to why they would really want to show us what his real motive is, and that's going to be a very interesting thing for sure. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.